Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. This is it, the bedrock of physics, Einstein's theory of relativity, the fundamental principle. No, nothing can go faster than the speed of, of light. Got that? Nothing. Light rules the highways of space-time. Until now, that is. See, scientists shot a particle beam from Switzerland to Italy. 2.4 milliseconds. That's what it should take a beam of light to cover that distance. But neutrinos, those tiny subatomic particles with virtually no mass and no electrical charge, manage to arrive 60 billionths of a second faster than light. You might think it was a one-off event. Nope. This was repeated at least 15,000 times, which in ordinary circumstances would make this a formal discovery. But this is such earth-shattering, mind-bending stuff that scientists have called for help to explain what in the universe is going on. Is this all a big calculation error, or are neutrinos traveling back and forth in time? Imperial College physicist Martin Archer explained it to us at London's Museum of Science. If you enter a world where things can travel faster than the speed of light, now you can have certain people seeing things go backwards in time. And so you have effect coming before the cause. Um, and that's just a world I can't even contemplate yeah, in my head. Exactly. How, how can you have a world where something happens before you've even done it? Of course, the problem with time travel is something called the grandfather paradox, which means if I travel back in time and then I accidentally kill my grandfather, which means, Atika, you would never have been conceived and therefore could not travel back in time to see yourself. That's where you're going. That's right. 25 years into the future. I've always dreamed of seeing the future and looking but beyond my But don't go back to the future see trying to break mankind. the speed of light with 1.21 gigawatts. Scientists are cautioning the results still need to be duplicated in another lab and confirmed. Then you can panic. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.